Hi, so I have a bunch of these things actually. It's an evacuated solar tube. This is half a meter by 60 millimeters in diameter. You can get these up to 113 millimeters in diameter. And I was using them when I was making heat pipes and using floral foam to turn it into a steam boiler to run a steam engine. But they're still sitting in there and I was rooting around in the drawer and I came across them and thought, well, I wonder if there's something fun I can do with that. So I do what I always do. I had a look over the internet to see what other people were doing. And I came across some awesome things actually, particularly those larger ones that have been used to make solar ovens and solar barbecues, which I thought were cool. And then I came across this, the solar kettle. It's created by a UK company, 35 pounds. And I had a look to see if they were still for sale, and they're not, which is a mystery for me. So I thought, well, hey, that looks interesting, to be honest. Looks like a bit of fun, and I wonder if it actually works. So I thought I'd make a solar kettle. I'm making a solar kettle, actually, it's stunningly easy. We've just got to put that in a bit of plastic pipe. And I've got this stuff, which is 10 PSI plastic pipe that we used when we did our ram pump, and I've got a length of it left. So I'm going to basically slide that in there. Now, I'm going to cut off a piece of 50 millimeters long, cut a window in it, and a 30 degree angle on the bottom, because apparently 30 degrees is the best angle, or at least that's what I was reading when I read research paper. So I'm going to cut a 30 degree angle and then foam that in with a bit of this stuff, and we should have made ourselves a solar kettle. So let's do that. And there it is. That's dead simple to make. Hey, you can see what I've done. I've chopped the window out, stuck that in there, and then I bothered on the inside of that to put a bit of reflective aluminium foam, and so we've got our kettle. Now uh, here are the bits that I cut out. So they once went there. What well, might be nice is to put hinges on those and then put foil on, open them up like that, and maybe point them at the tube and that would make you exactly the electric kettle but sorry the solar kettle but there's a solar kettle so let's fill it up with some water and see how it does make a cup of coffee and i have cleaned my coffee cup in celebration i don't know to what extent you can see that but that is definitely steaming away Well, that did indeed take 20 to 30 minutes to heat up, which is pretty cool. I suppose the main drawback about them is that who wants a hot cup of coffee on a hot day? But you are also seeing these as sold as heating elements for um, showers that you can take with you. So you fill it full of water, boil the water and mix it with some cold and make a shower, which I thought was kind of cool. So as a solar gadget, I think they're, they're fun, hey? And they're super easy to make. I mean, I didn't really go into the make much because it wasn't more than chopping off that bit of pipe and gluing a bit of board, bending that wire for the legs. Big thing is just make sure that that's at 30 degrees because um, they are very susceptible to the angle that they're at. They don't perform so well if they're like 60 degrees and pretty damn well at 30 degrees. So just make sure you get the angle right. Apart from that, there's not a lot to talk about <laughs> in terms of construction of it because it was just so simple. Chop some pipe. Uh, pipe, slide it in there and form it in with some foam. You've got yourself an electric, uh, uh, sorry, a solar kettle that you can make coffee if you want or make hot water for washing your pans or having a shower. I thought it was kind of awesome. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and I have no idea why they're not still selling these.